In this video, we're going to look at rounding numbers. To begin with, we're going to start with decimal places and then we're going to move on to significant figures. Let's look at rounding a number to one decimal place. So 1 dp, we can say that this is to the nearest 0 0.1 or the nearest 1 tenth. So let's have a look at rounding to one decimal place. I'm going to take the number 6.74. So this is the number that could potentially change. Our choices to one decimal place are going to be 6.7 or 6.8. To decide, we look at the number next to it. This is the hundredth or the 0 0.01. If this number is 5 or more, we're going to round to 6.8. If it's 4 or less, we're going to round to 6.7. So we say if it's 5 or more, we round up. If it's 4 or less, we round down. So we can see this one here is going to be 6.7 and that is correct to one decimal place. When we talk about rounding down, it's important that you don't round down to 6.6. .6. It just means we go down to 6.7. So if I had 13.27, to one decimal place, my choices are going to be 13.2 or 13.3. This is the number that could potentially change, so we study the one to the right. So we can see now that this is greater than five, so we're going to round up, and to one decimal place, this will be 13.3. So rounding to one decimal place. If we try another one, let's say we've got 408.31, our choices are going to be 408.3 or 408.4. We can see this is the number that could change, so we study the 1 after it. We can see that that's going to be less than 5, so this will be 408.3, and that's correct to one decimal place. Let's now look at a slightly harder one. We're going to look at 41.96. We have to be careful here because we could round to 41.9. But if I round up, this means that we're going to go up to 42.0. Remember, this is the number that could change and this is the one that's going to influence it. So as a result, if we do round this up, we're going into the next uh, unit value, if you like. We can see that's going to be the case as 6 is greater than 5. So correct to one decimal place, this is 42.0. So that's rounding to one decimal place or the nearest 0 0.1 or the nearest 1 tenth. If we now look at 2 dp, so two decimal places, we're rounding to the nearest 0 0.01 or we can say to the nearest 1 one hundredth. So let's take a number, and I'm going to have 4.325. This is the number we're interested in. So this is the one that's going to potentially change. This now is the second decimal place, or if you like, it's in the one hundredths column, or it's 0 0.01. So my choice is correct to two decimal places, are going to be 4.32 or 4.33. We can see the number next to it, which is in the thousandths column, is a 5. Therefore, we're going to round up, and this will be 4.33, and that is correct to two decimal places. If we look at another one, let's say we've got now 109.625. Our choices to two decimal places will be 109.62 or 109.63. We can see this is the number that's going to potentially change. That's now in the 1 100s column, or if you like, to the nearest 0 0.01. We see the number after it is more than 5, so we're going to round up, and this will be 109.63, and that will be correct to two decimal places. Let's look at a slightly more challenging one. Let's say we've got 3.498. So this time now we're focusing on the 9. 
So we could have now correct to two decimal places, 3.49. If we were to round up, this would round to 3.50. We can see it's going to round up as 8 is greater than 5, so we'd say that this is 3.50, and that is correct to two decimal places. So that's rounding a number to two decimal places. We're now going to look at rounding to significant figures. Let's start off by looking at what a significant figure is. I'm going to round, write out a list of numbers. I'm going to write out 147. I'm going to write 3,692. I'm going to write 14.321. I'm going to write 0. 0.0. 894. I'm going to write now 0 0.10627 and I'll do another large number. Let's do now 352,431. What we're going to do is look at significant figures. When we read a number from left to right, the first significant figure is the one that has a value. So if I read this now from left to right, the first significant figure is the 1. We can see that this is in the hundreds column. So if we were rounding now to one significant figure, we'd be rounding to the nearest 100. If we were talking about the second significant figure, we would have now the 4. This is in the tens column. So if we were rounding now to two significant figures, we'd be rounding to the nearest 10. If we look at this one, the first significant figure here is in the thousands column. So if I wanted to round to one significant figure, I would round to the nearest 1,000. The second significant figure is in the hundreds column. If I wanted to round to two significant figures, it would be to the nearest 100. The third significant figure is in the tens column, so I'd be rounding to the nearest 10. If we look at this number here, the first significant figure is tens. So if I wanted to round this to one significant figure, I'd round to the nearest 10. The second significant figure is units. So if I was rounding this to two significant figures, I'd round it to the nearest one. We now need to look at this number here. This number is 0 0.0894. When we read a number from left to right, the first significant figure is one that has a value. This is not significant, this is not significant, so the first significant figure is the 1 one hundredths, or 0 0.01. The second is the thousandths, or 0 0.01. So if I wanted to round this now to one significant figure, we would be rounding to the nearest 100. If I wanted to round to two significant figures, I'd be rounding to the nearest 1 1,000. With this one here, we've got now zero, so we wouldn't consider this to be significant. The first significant figure is now the tenths, or the 0 0.1 column. Now that we've already had one significant figure, this zero becomes significant. So don't say to yourself, well, the next one's going to be this one. The second significant figure is the 1 one hundredths. If we look at this number here, the first significant figure is the hundreds of thousands, the hundred thousands column. The second significant figure is the ten thousands. The third is the thousands, the fourth is hundreds, and the fifth is tens. So if I wanted to round this correct to four significant figures, I'd be rounding to the nearest 100. OK, so let's look, and what we'll do, we'll take some of these and we'll round now to one significant figure. So let's round this number here to one significant figure. So my choices are going to be now 100 or 200. So I'm rounding now to the nearest 100. If we think about this, the 4 is less than 5, so we're going to have 100 to the nearest uh, or that it's going to be 100 to one significant figure. This is closer to 100 than it is 200. If we look at rounding this to two significant figures, we're rounding now to the nearest 10. My choices are 140 or 150. 
The seven after is greater than five, so to the nearest 10, the second significant figure, we're going to have 150. If we look at this one to the nearest, uh, the first significant figure, so rounding to one significant figure, that's rounding to the nearest thousand. So my choices are 3,000 or 4,000. If we look now in the next column, which is the hundreds, we can see that that's going to be greater than five, therefore to the nearest 1,000 or rounding to one significant figure, it will be 4,000. Two significant figures now is going to give me the hundreds column. So my choices are 3,600 or 3,700. I look now to the right and we can see that this number is greater than five, therefore correct to two significant figures, it will be 3,700. Let's look at this one just here. Now with this one, we could, if we wanted, do three significant figures. If you really wanted, let's just put another column. If I was rounding this to three significant figures, that would be to the nearest 10. My choices would be 3690, or we would have now to the nearest 10, 3700. So to the nearest 10 now, that is going to be 3690. Okay, let's do this one to one significant figure. If we're looking at one significant figure, the first significant figure, tens. So my choice is going to be 10 or 20. The four afterwards means I'm going to round down. If I was rounding to two significant figures, this is to now the nearest unit. So we could have 14 or we could have 15. We see 14.3, that means that three is going to round it down and we'd have now the 14. If I was rounding to three significant figures, I'm rounding to the nearest 0 0.1. My choices are 14.3 or 14.4. We would round down to 14.3 as the two afterwards is less than five. Let's look at this now to one significant figure. My first choice is going to be 0 0.08. My second choice will be 0 0.09. We are rounding to the nearest 1 one hundredth. We can see the number afterwards is greater than 5, so to one significant figure, it will be 0 0.09. To two significant figures, my choices are going to be 0 0.089. Remember, the second significant figure is this one just here, or the other option is 0, point, uh, 0 point now, 0, let's put this in, 0 0.090. So if I wanted now this correct to two significant figures, 0 0.090. This is the number that's going to influence whether we round up or down. We can see this is going to be less now than 5, so we will round down to 0 0.089. So that's rounding to one and two significant figures on 0 0.0894. If we now look at the next one, and we'll round this to one significant figure, the first significant figure is the tens, or 0 0.1. So I can have a choice of 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. We can see the number here, 0, is going to be less than 5. So to one significant figure, we're going to have now 0 0.1. If we now look at to two significant figures, we'll have 0 0.10 or 0 0.11. This is the number that could change. It's for 1 one hundredths or the 0 0.01. We can see that the number next to it is greater than 5. We're going to round up. If I wanted to go to three significant figures, 0 0.106 or 0 0.107. This is going to be 0 0.106 as we have a 2 after the 6. If we look at this one to one significant figure, we've got a choice. This is the hundreds of thousands. So we're going to have hundred thousands, which is going to give me 300,000. Or we're going to have 400,000. We can see from here now, let's put this in, let's give it another 0. We can see that the 5 afterwards means that I'm going to round up to 400,000. That is correct to, two, uh, to one significant figure. 
Now, two significant figures, we've got a choice. We can have now on the second significant figure, 350,000, or we could have 360,000. So the second significant figure now are the 10,000s. So 360,000. If we look, we can see it's going to round down. So it would be now 350,000 correct to two significant figures. If we look at the third significant figure, that is the, in here, instead of the, we've got the, uh, the hundred thousands, the ten thousands, this is the thousands. So we're going to round to the nearest one thousand. Three thousand five hundred, uh, sorry, three hundred, and let's get this right, three hundred and fifty-two thousand. Or we could have three hundred and fifty-three thousand, and we're going to round down as a number after it is four. So as you can see, even I'm making mistakes after a while or, or getting a bit tied up, just read it out to yourself. The first significant figure is when we read a number from left to right, it's the one with a value. We round to that significant figure if we're doing the first, we go to the second and third if possible. So there's a bit on rounding now to decimal places and significant figures.